In the last lesson, we built our Realm Recycler View adapter. In this lesson, we are going to tie everything up in our main activity class. We go on to activity main.xml. Here we will design our UI. So we delete what we don't need and add our recycler view. I'm using a constraint layout, so I'm just adjusting the constraints. We then add our floating action button later. Our floating action button is going to be clicked and once it's clicked, it pops up the dialog we created earlier. We would all do that in this tutorial. I would name my recycler view, give it an ID of my recycler view. Just a simple ID for, for this lesson. Then for the floating action button, I'll give it my fab. So that's all for our activity main UI. Now we create our local variables. We're going to create our realm variable, which is going to be used to get our default instance and our recycler view to access the recycler view in our XML layout. We can make this private. So we assign these variables, get the fourth instance for Realm, and our recycler view. Remember the ID we gave it, which was my recycler view. Remember we have a floating action button, so let's do that also. So we create our local variable and we head on to assign it also using find view by ID. Can you remember what we named our floating action button? Yep, it was called my fab. We make that private also. Next, we're going to implement our new task listener and override on add task and on cancel. We implement it and override on add task and on cancel. We're going to use a random number for our ID when you're creating your own project, you can have a specific ID for Realm because Realm does not auto-generate IDs. We would use the secure random class in Java. So we get a random number from 0 to 99,999. So 0 to 100,000 exclusively. Once we have gotten the integer, we then assign it and send it to our data helper class method new task. And we do the toast once it's cancelled. Next, we create a click listener for our floating action button so that once it is clicked this is called now we're going to create our dialog fragments variable 
This is for our new task dialog. So we're going to call this in our own click. I'll change the variable name to add task dialog. So I will say add task dialog dot show. So we get our fragment manager. I will give it a tag. I called my new task to implement is the swipe to delete feature. So we create our class called touch helper callback and extend item touch helper dot simple callback. We override on move and on swipe. What we're interested here is on swipe. First, we pass some arguments to the parent class constructor using super. If you have worked with touch helper callbacks, item touch helper callbacks, you would be familiar with this. But we're going to be focusing on what we're doing with realm here. On the unswiped, we're going to be calling our data helper.delete method to delete the task. We get the ID of the task to be deleted using get item ID. So next, we're going to set up our recycler view. And I'm going to use a method to do that. I will call that method setup recycler view. In this method, we would set our adapter and assign our item touch helper to our recycler view. So first we get our recycler view adapter. And we, we would pass in our realm query into the parameter. We would query all our results from our database. So that is task db dot class. This query finds all the results and passes it to our realm recycler view adapter. We can go on to our sign our recycler view to our layout manager, adapter and item decorator. Next, we can attach our item touch helper to our recycler view. And we call this method in our own create. We can shorten this by assigning and enabling Java 8 so that we can use lambdas to shorten this. Next, we need to reference this application class in our manifests. So we name it Android name and the class name. So rem is initialized there. I noticed that this row, we were using edit text instead of text view. This is the row that is going to populate our recycler view. What we need there is a text view, not edit text. So we edit that, yep, edit it, and make it a text view. Next, we add set has table IDs. This is used when your realm database has a primary key. We have a primary key, hence that's why we use it. So here, 
we can now test our application. Now we click our fab button to add a new task. So we can say go to the mall. I can see the task has been added. Get some lunch lunch. And yes, the task has been added. Let's increase that so you can see it better. Go to the gym. Yes. And we can also delete by swiping. Once you swipe, it automatically updates and deletes. Swipe and then it deletes. Add a new task and it adds it. So that's that about our to-do list application. Simple and sweet. So here we have our realm get default instance. And we set up our recycler view. And we use that to show, we use the floating action button to show our task dialog. In our adding of task, we passed in the realm instance, the ID, and the task, which is a string. In our delete task, we use the ID to identify what we're going to delete. If it is cancelled, we make it post. We passed in the realm query to our recycler view adapter. This is querying all results as there is no filter in here. Then we set up our recycler view. And once it's swiped, we delete the task. As you can see, we set our stable ID to be true. And this is used when you have a unique identifier, which is our primary key. This is where we inflated our layout using our row.xml. We also have our unbind view holder where we set the task of the text. And that's that for our circular view adapter. Well, I have one extra task for you. So if you did like this tutorial, please subscribe for more info and for more tutorials such as this. Thank you.